everyone welcome back my youtube channel salesforce hunt this is rohit and today i'm going to show you sandbox development flow so if you are new in this channel so please subscribe my youtube channel for more updates and uh, please watch this video until end because it's very most important if you are a salesforce admin salesforce developer any kind of role you have so it's a it's a need to learn these all things and i will explain to you how to develop the sandbox flow in salesforce so please watch this video until end so let's get started without any further delay so now sandbox development flow so basically why we need this sandbox development because there are so many strategy to develop the component and deploy the component metadata from one org to another org so that time we will need to work on the different types of environment right so let's say we have four types of sandboxes you know very well these things right so developer developer pro partial copy full copy sandbox right so based on the sandboxes strategy we can move our metadata from one org to another org and then higher org we can say that right so let's say let me draw some diagram for you and it's a very neat and clean or it's a very easy to understand this diagram because it's very most important for us if you want to learn these things right so let's say i'm a system admin so this is a system admin here right so let me tell you this one this is a system admin let's say admin right this is the system admin and this system admin uh, let me tell you the another things we have another developer and this developer having different kinds of environment so let's say developer so let me tell you this one here that is called developer one it can be anything in your case uh, maybe like uh, hundreds of developer thousands of developer or based on your company you know strength or uh, developer strength so here you can see this is the developer one this is the uh, system admin right so let's so try to understand this diagram right so this is the admin and this is the developer one and these two person having each and every you know rights based on the roles so now we have four types of you know sandboxes so based on the sandboxes we can develop our sandbox strategy flow so now here let me add another developer sandbox here and let me tell you this is the developer sandbox right sandbox so this is the developer sandbox and this sandbox having different kinds of things so based on like uh, our org metadata and different types of you know metadata and components so now let me connect with this admin to developer sandbox because it's having all rights right so this is a developer sandbox same for the development purpose so we are using or you can use this developer sandbox as a development process prospective right so let me add here let's say development so it's a development right so basically sandbox is uses for the development right so now you can see development now let me copy this one let me paste it here and for the developer one also having this kind of rights so let me draw this one again let me copy this one and paste it here now you can see so developer one also having the axis of the this developer sandboxes right so let me connect this developer to this sandboxes as well so now you can see this one right it's a very simple to understand so we have different types of copy of the sandboxes right so based on the sandboxes we can uh, give the access of the developer as well admin so now after that we have to do like once you develop the some component let's say lwc component apex class trigger based on your requirement you already develop and that component we need to move into the next org it may be like partial copy full copy production uat staging based on your uh, you know environment so you can choose it 
right so for now in this video you can learn the all the sandboxes strategy to develop the component from one node to another node right so now let me copy this one paste it here and here this is the partial copy sandbox so let me add partial copy sandbox okay so this is the partial copy sandbox and basically this partial copy sandbox basically used for integration testing and QA testing because after the development we need to test our component or it can be anything right let's say apex class or triggers or flows it should be good to test your component always right so we have another environment that is called partial copy sandbox and this environment you can integrate testing and QA quality assurance right so let me add this one as well here this one and uh, same thing I can use for here right this one so now you can see admin admin and uh, developer having its own sandboxes and it's developed something like a custom object or fields and this developer developed the LWC component I need to uh, deploy or move these all changes into the another sandbox that is called partial coffee sandbox and here another person we have that is based on the integration testing and QA so let me test an integration integration testing right or that is called QA as well so this is a QA environment here you can see right so based on the your need you can clarify this one right so developer sandbox is partial copy so partial copy sandbox is basically used for integration testing and QA and once you have done this metadata and it's need to be deployed next or that is called full sandbox so let me tell you the full sandbox here right so now here so once you've done these things now you have to do one thing and basically use uh, this full copy sandbox basically used for you know like UAT and staging so UAT or staging like stage right so these all the phases of the development cycle of the sandboxes right so this is the real-time experience or real-time scenarios right so in big big companies uh, this approach uh, we are following right different types of industry let's say this is a developer you have a developer team and every developer has its own sandboxes and you already develop something and you can move your metadata then next level or that is called partial copy sandbox and then another person of the tester maybe tester or any QA person test your you know component and then we can move into the UAT user acceptance testing and then staging and finally right we have another stage of the you know sandbox deployment we have production so let me add here that is called production right and this production contain all the metadata in a single scale or in a single unit right so here let me connect this partial copy to full copy to uh, this production so once you've done this cycle right so here let me add this production because it's a production so production now you can see finally our code in production environment so I will explain to you some most of the common functionality of the sandboxes and you know deployment or develop the metadata so don't skip this testing so testing is a key procedure for the secure successful sales for deployment and positive user experience it's recommended to run test both during the production and after the deployment always remember so you can make use of the apex testing framework to write and execute unit test and sure high quality of the apex code and reach all the requirements to deploy it checking that so I will tell you the some most of the property of the you know 
deployment process of the apex classes and triggers so apex classes and triggers work as, as expected code coverage at least 75 percent apps going to production are of the you know high quality so this is some uh, common points and do implementation uh, code version tracking system so it's uh, having like code version control allows to tracking and documenting all the changes at, at every deployment cycle stages which provided by you know uh, this branches strategy so continuous integration and continuous delivery a single source of truth of all the all the members and notification about code conflicts you have to implement these things do create a release management strategy so create complete release management processes where each team members understand their roles so categorize release into bugs fixes minor changes with no need for user training and major changes with significant impact on the functionality dependencies and adoption develop and test the separate environments and migrate all the changes from every project to the same environment for the integration make developers aware of their releases and their schedules and provide them with version control tools it may be you know git and github avoid deployment during busy hours as a major events do follow ci cd practices okay so ci cd practices speed up release and provide space for the flexibility and improvisions continuous integration and merging lets developers minimize bugs and dependencies issues and if there are still any they will usually be smaller and can be easily fixed with this kind of you know bugs so i have some you know points and uh, you know some tools about the ci cd pipelines under the salesforce let's say salesforce developer experience that is called dx and also scratch or allow to developer to use integrate third party ci tools like circle ci jenkins travel ci or it can be anything as you have jenkins and uh, you know different uh, kinds of uh, like uh, ci cd tools so for running automation test for the new changes tracking changes code coverage pushing deployment to a target environment so this kind of things you have to remember once you develop your sandboxes so that's it from my side guys so i hope you like this video and you learn something new in this video if you feel like this is a very informative for us so please subscribe my youtube channel share like comments and Till then, bye-bye, take care, see ya. Thank you for watching.